Oh, I forget that it's zoom in. So this girl has some soft belly issues going on. I think she she also laid the lash egg the other day. You can see how spongy her belly is. She's got some fluid in there, and taking that out might help her. She's got a lot of problems right now. Well, the antibiotics are for the problem causing her belly to be like that. So I find this easiest to do if I hold them in like a football hold. And you want to go to the right side because most of their vital organs kind of lean to the left side. So we're going to go right about Her. here. We're going to find a spot that's pretty spongy. What? Her butt is pulsating. Yeah, they get a little nervous. So once again, we're going to check to make sure we're not going into a vein. The stuff that we want to pull out should be like a straw color. I use a large syringe. Mm, this one's 140 gross. ml, which is a little difficult. But, and this is a short 20 gauge needle because we're not going to go in very far. Hold on, I'm going to just stand in the shower. Okay. Because none of this is working. This is so much better. <laughs> okay. So. We're going to let, clean it off with alcohol, which I just did. Let's see if I can get where she can, where you can see. We're going to inject just till we get in there. We're going to start pulling back if there's anything that can come out. Oh, this this is a very hard to pull syringe. And get the syringe to pull back. Yeah. So this is a sign of ascites, ascites, however you want to pronounce it, A S C I T E S. And typically, once they get this, they don't live for very long. That's sad. Well, all this fluid puts pressure on their vital organs. That's so sad. Don't move, baby. Don't move. You don't want to pull... Some of them will have a lot of fluid. You don't want to pull more than like a cup of fluid off. A cup. Because... It can send them into shock. I didn't even know that like a cup eight ounces of fluid would just sit in a chicken's butt. Well, it's kind of surrounding all of their internal organs, putting pressure on them. That's terrifying. Poor baby. She's really calm now. Well, as the fluid pressure is released, you also want to pull it too fast because, like, that can send them into shock, too. Yeah. Um, as the pressure is released, it, it takes pressure off inside the, on their organs, so they actually calm down a bit, usually, I find. Do I do this very often? No, usually just on ones that I'm pretty attached to. Her name is Chanel, because she didn't have one, but she's a star. She is. I'm going to stop there. That's so she's much fun. still got some pressure. Maybe get a little more. So far, that's 90 cc's of fluid. So, Maybe. things that can cause this are heart disease, infection, which is, I think, what caused hers because of the fact that she laid the lash egg. So, 
sometimes people will just take the syringe off the needle, leave the needle inside of her, and let it drip out. I won't do that because that's gross. I know, so it sounds like uncomfortable for her. No, they don't like let her run around, let her run around with it like that. Oh, you mean just like sit there for a minute? Yeah, and drain, let it drain off. That still sounds really uncomfortable. Not any more uncomfortable than what I'm doing right now. It's just, you know, it's basically a bunch of infectious crap. Yeah, you can tell just by looking at it, it looks disgusting. Just something about the color of infected <laughs> grosses me out. Oh, wow, that's so much better, baby. It kind of looks better. It looks significantly less swollen. Oh, I was angled badly. It's okay, Shell does it too. As long as she's not showing my underwear. Well, maybe you should put pants on to do videos. Probably. But I want to get dressed just in case she pooped on me. Okay, so. You no, know that's a really fair argument. It's 140 cc's of crap that I pulled out of her. Oh, uh -huh. can I hold that? For yeah. fun. Yes. It's so warm. Yeah. Then I'm going to clean it off, clean the injection site off again. It might drip a little bit after that until the hole seals itself back off. I don't want to hold this anymore. It stinks. <laughs> it's but that's the color that it should be if it's if uh, you're pulling the right stuff. You know, that's also why we go to the right. Less likely to hit vital organs. No, don't let her in. No. Oh, you can't be in here. Neither can you. <coughs> and if you look at her belly now, you will see oh, yeah, it's considerably less uh, pushy, cushy, jelly feeling. I might pull some more off tomorrow, but I'm. I still ha she hasn't laid yet since she had the lash eggs, so. I'm not sure how much I'm going to fight to save her, but I figured why not make some videos that could help somebody. I said I usually only do this if it's one that I'm really considering more of a pet than a than livestock. <laughs> um, because once they get to that point, they usually don't start laying again. So, I'm... Um, not sure she would make it. We'll make it anyway. But I'm watching her. She's she the shaking, the head shaking that she had the other day has gone away with the antibiotics that I've been giving her. So that's at least a good sign. I like this one. She doesn't make noise and she doesn't thrash around rapidly. I can't believe you're actually touching an adult chicken. Because she doesn't make noise and she doesn't thrash around rapidly. She doesn't do any of the things that my brain connects to I am about to get attacked by a fucking bird again. Alright. I'm like Ziggy, who so, his entire life. I think life that's all the medical videos so. I'm gonna do today, unless someone gets injured. Hopefully nobody will get injured. I'm sure they'll be fine. But I'm gonna put this girl back in there to get some rest. I like her. And then we'll see y'all later for a cooking video, which Libby will be much more comfortable with. Yeah. <laughs> She's cool, but I like food more. I mean. We're going to be cooking duck. Korean, oh. Korean style. Oh. Sounds fun. All right. Okay.